This is Richard Stevens from Keele University. This is my research on the effects of swearing on strength and looking at disinhibition as a potential mediator. So I've been doing research for a number of years now showing beneficial effects of swearing, that's repeating a swear word, on things like pain tolerance and physical strength compared with a control condition of repeating a neutral word. Uh, lately, uh, studies have found have shown an effect, but we've been struggling to show the mechanism. Previously, we were looking at things like um, emotion arousal and autonomic arousal, fight or flight response, heart rate, that sort of thing. But we're recently shown effects with no signs of changes in heart rate. So we're looking at a psychological mechanism. And uh, so far, we've thought of something like disinhibition or not holding back. And other studies of things like effects of shouting and grunting on on physical strength have also suggested a similar mechanism. So in this study, uh, very briefly, we uh, had people do a hand grip task whilst swearing versus repeating a neutral word, and also a to measure something akin to state uh, to disinhibition, we measured um, the balloon analog wrist task, uh, how much you're willing to inflate a balloon, risking it bursting. And we sort of had some success because we showed that swearing improves grip strength, and that's replicating studies that a study that we've already got out there in the published literature. And we also showed that swearing led to increased risky performance on the balloon task. But running the mediation model, um, the uh, the effect of swearing on grip strength via state disinhibition measured by the BART task isn't important. I mean, the mediation model is significant, which is quite interesting. But uh, if you compare the indirect effect of swearing on grip strength has quite a low uh, coefficient of 0.37, whereas the sort of uh, the C kind of hyphen, the C uh, apostrophe um, coefficient, which is the effect of swearing on grip strength controlling for state disinhibition is a much higher number. So really, uh, state disinhibition is sort of peripherally in the mix, but it doesn't seem to be an important uh, an important factor. So I'd really like to uh, carry on exploring this and try to get to the bottom of just what is the psychological mechanism. And in the discussion there, I suggest that possibly um, we could look at vigilance. So if you look at the sort of the three networks explanation of kind of how the brain is organized, uh, we've got the salience network and perhaps swearing floods the salience network and so that sort of vigilance is no longer so important so people are a bit freer is an interesting idea that i'd like to explore but really anyone with any suggestions of how to improve this research i'd be very interested to speak to them okay thank you